Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm going to be showing you my Vivo Sun 3x3 Carnivorous Plant Grow Tent Cleaning and Overhaul. If you're subscribed to my channel, there's a good chance you watched my Grow Tent Tour video a couple weeks back. If you watched that video, you'd see that it was overdue to be cleaned and reorganized. I purchased some wire shelving, some new grow lights, and it's time to throw it all together. The ultimate goal here was to utilize the space in my grow tent to start growing plants to sell and not just to admire. This is just another small step in the direction of starting my own carnivorous plant nursery someday. Real quick before we get started, I did want to mention that I'm in the middle of reviewing my new Barina grow lights that you're actually going to be seeing in the video today. Part one of that review is in the description and it actually shows you how to set them up and what you get when you unbox them. I'm testing the lights out right now on some Venus flytraps, pings, nepenthes, and sundews. The updated part two of that review should be coming out in about a month or so, once I've had some adequate time to test the lights. All right, it's time to get started. I've moved everything out, which was a huge pain, but this tent needed to be cleaned, so let's start there. You can see just how dirty the tent is. There's some dirt and algae buildup on the bottom. Luckily, the Vivo Sun Grow Tent has a removable bottom insert, so I can easily remove it and clean it outside. Most of the gross water buildup and stains on the bottom of the tent here is a result of my water trays overflowing. It's impossible to avoid some water spillage, so a removable bottom insert is actually really huge. I shouldn't have to clean the sides very much. As you can see, it looks like they're pretty clean. The bottom insert is really easy to remove. Just Velcro's on all the corners and you pull it straight out. I did want to just take a second to mention real quick that all the stuff you see in the video, you can actually check out in the description. The lights, the Vivo Sun Grow Tent, the wire shelving, and everything else. I'm going to pull the insert out so we can get it outside and get it all cleaned up. I was pulling up the corner of the insert and found a little surprise. I'll show you that here in just a second. Real quick though, I want to show you how you can either start or grow your carnivorous plant collection. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, thanks so much for listening to that. All right, check out this little guy that I found nesting under my tent. It's a little wolf spider. They're actually really cool insects. They do bite, but produce something similar to a mosquito bite, and they're fairly harmless. They're a great spider to have in a tent because they're pest catching machines. They're actually super common where I live. I know that they're helpful, but I'm still gonna go ahead and nope it right outside. You can see it's a little funnel here it had going on in the corner. I'm sure there would have been an egg sac soon. I'm glad I found it before it did that. You can see that after I pulled the insert out, it's basically brand new looking. I did not scrub or clean this area, it just stays really new looking under the insert as long as you don't allow any water to spill behind it. Maybe just lift it up from time to time to make sure there aren't any spiders calling at home. You can see that I have the light connected to the top bars, so it's right in the middle. I need to rethink this a little bit so it can be aligned to the right. I'm going to put the wire shelf on the left hand side and keep two of the shelves that I had in there before on the bottom right. So the light has to be lower and moved over to the right slightly. There we go. I left the right hanger but moved the left hanger to attach directly to the tent instead of the top bar. This shifted it down and to the right. It's not perfectly straight but that's okay. I'll actually change this in a little bit to align a little bit better so stay tuned and see how I do that. Alright, it's time to take the insert outside and get it all cleaned up. The insert's actually really nice and was super easy to clean. The reflective material that's used does a good job of not really absorbing water, but the dirt and algae washed off super easy. Minimal elbow grease was really needed for this job. I just used some dish soap and a towel and scrubbed away. I rinsed the soap off and bada bing bada boom, looks like new. Now I'll set it out to dry a few, for a few hours before putting it back. You don't want to put it back wet as it can form mold and mildew underneath the insert. If you're finding this video useful or entertaining, Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm trying so hard to open my own carnivorous plant nursery someday. You can support my channel by leaving a monetary contribution by clicking the thanks button below this video. If you don't have any money to spare, I completely understand. You can simply like the video, leave a comment, and watch this video all the way to the end. You can also subscribe to my channel so you get alerted when I post more great carnivorous plant content. Thank you so much for your support. Let's go ahead and get back to the overhauling this grow tent. Now that the insert is all cleaned up, it's time to go ahead and build the wire shelving. There's really not a lot to talk about here. The wire shelving was super easy to put together and went up in about 20 minutes. I did manage to build the entire shelf myself, but it would have been a little bit faster to build with the second person. The hardest part was aligning all the shelves as they're adjustable. 
You can see that the shelf stoppers are not aligned. And after watching this video, I'm wondering if I was even looking when I put these things on. How could I have been that far off? Oh well, once the shelf was on, they were pretty easy to adjust. I had to realign them several times as I was building. This is where the second person would have came in handy. I chose to leave the wheels off as I won't be moving this around once it's in my tent. Also, do you see those blinds in the background? This is obviously where my kids play most of the time, especially when they have their friends over. Nothing in this basement survives. You simply can't put anything down here you don't want broken. It's like a war zone. I had to spend some time looking for the shelf that had the perfect dimensions for this specific Vivo Sun 3x3 grow tent. The top shelf couldn't go up too high because there was the ventilation hole there. The shelf is 60 inches tall and 30 inches long. The shelves are about 14 inches wide. It's basically fit perfectly in the tent as you can see. I've already attached all my Barina grow lights. Again, if you want to see more about those lights specifically, the video is in the description. Overall, I'm actually really happy with the wire shelving. It was super easy to put together for just one person and the shelves are really sturdy. I'm definitely going to buy another one exactly like it and probably put on the right side of the tent. The link to this shelf is in the description if you're interested. I mentioned earlier that we would revisit the alignment of the 100 watt grow light. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I reattached the grow light to the shelf, which straightened it out nicely. It's now directly over the shelves. All right, here's a quick tour of everything put back together. The partial overhaul is complete. I do want to add another shelf on the right side with the Barina lights eventually, but for now I have a good chunk of my plants in here. I'll move the fly traps and Saracenia outside soon. I was able to turn off three extra grow lights I had going by adding these new lights and shelf. I'm not going to call out each plant specifically. If you want to see that, check out my last grow tent tour. I talk a little bit more about each plant. I just wanted to run you through here rather quickly so you can see the Vivo Sun grow tent reorg. The wire shelving is great, especially for my Nepenthes. Now I can run a humidifier on the shelf below so they get humidity running on them directly. I need a new humidifier. I have to change the water on this one daily, and it's a bit annoying, but totally worth it. Just take a look at some of those pictures. If you're running a tent without these Govi hydrometers, you really need to consider grabbing them. They measure temperature and humidity and send alerts to your phone when it gets too low or too high. That's always my reminder to change the water in my humidifier. When it goes below 50%, it shoots me an alert. It's also done wonders for my ping rock. I really wanted the moss to spread across the entire rock. The pings themselves don't really need a lot of high humidity, but the extra humidity has really helped the moss spread. The entire rock is almost covered now with the green moss, which as you can see really makes the pings pop. I think the extra bit of humidity also has really helped the sundews do up just a little better. Make sure to check out my Barina Light setup and review. Click the video right there. Thank you everyone for being here. Remember to like this video and sub to my channel. Come out with any questions you might have. I can't wait to catch you in my next video. Bye.